Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a dynamic scroll in a really simple way. Let's start. Step one, create a frame. Now let's create the text categories for your layout. If you wanna copy an item in an easier way, then you have to select an item and press option and drag the frame or text to duplicate it. So now select all three text layers, press shift while you select all three text and after that shift plus A, with this you can create auto layout, which is super great. With this setup you can easily adjust the spacing between items. I recommend using 24 pixels, but whatever you like, you can change it easily in the right side panel. After this, we will create a navigation bar. Draw a rectangle, adjust its height to the text and round the corners. Pick a light color for the bar and a darker shade for the other to give it a contrast. Um, and after that, group the elements together. Align the bar with the categories, then use the shift plus A again to create an auto layout. Now let's adjust the padding. You can set different paddings for each side. Um, so for example, you can have 80 pixels on the left side and 40 on the other, but I would recommend to use the same padding. Um, this keeps everything centered and responsive. You resize the padding, you will notice how cleanly and consistently the entire layout adjusts. Um, that's the beauty of using auto layout. The next one is the text layout. Duplicate your text layout if you have already, or you can easily create one. Of course, like I created one heading and one body text. You can also create an auto layout here. It's not really necessary, you can use just a frame, but I also created here an auto layout because I love auto layout and I think it's really useful. So if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, that's also fine, but then you have to create a frame. So you just place your text in the frame. So your text is in the middle of the frame and then, I mean, we have four categories here, so you duplicate this frame four times. This is the four different section in the text what we like to highlight and have uh, interaction with this four section. And then of course you can adjust them and also change the text. Uh, you can create even bigger section, it doesn't have to be the same height. Uh, but of course it has to be the same uh, width. So you can adjust the height but not the width, that's an important thing. So now I just copy paste it, we have four um, sections i align them vertically and then i created an auto layout and then i set the spacing between them to zero so now we are really close to the end uh now it's time to bring everything to life with animations so the left side panel is fixed and the right side scrolling section is vertical scrolling after this, we need to copy the screen four times and drag the text accordingly. Obviously, the first one stay as it is. The second should be set to minus 1024 and so on. Additionally, we need to adjust the left sidebar to indicate where we are on the page. After this, you create components, you have to press option comment K and then you do uh, this with every page and then you select all of them and combine them. When you're done with that, we can create uh, interactions and animations. Use smart animate in prototype mode to create smooth transactions between screens. That's one thing. And also assign keyboard shortcuts like the down arrow. This will create this nice scrolling effect. Repeat the process for the reverse direction using the up arrow so you can scroll back up. 
So lastly, you have to connect the categories with the page where you want to go. So with click interaction, you have to decide where you want to go when you click on the side panel. So for example, of course, the next, the second category should be the second page and then the third category, the third page. So you basically create the same animation, but with the click. And when you're done with that, you copy the first component and you have to create a frame first. So you have to press option command G. And after that, you can check it out in the presentation mode. So great, it works just how we want it. You can click on something or you can just scroll down and you can see that the left side panel will change. So it's really nice and it works perfectly.